San Salvador, capital of the Salvadoran Republic, welcomed representatives of social movements, indigenous counselors, and government institutions at the third international encounter of the Children of Mother Earth, organized with the support of Central American Indigenous Council and the National Salvadoran Indigenous Coordinating Council in the Bicentennial Park of the city on November 11, 2016. It is important to expand the forms of participation of indigenous peoples in the formulation and execution of public policies in educational and cultural programs and in the justice system. In the interventions, the lack of spaces for the participation of indigenous peoples in the process of environmental social construction was brought up and it was concluded that their ancestral knowledge is the way to reach the restoration and conservation of Mother Earth. We are convinced that the current development model, extractivist, is not going to guarantee neither our survival nor the survival of our planet. And in that context, it is very important that we can articulate all forces to be able to change that model of development, to take advantage of that ancestral, traditional knowledge of indigenous peoples. Only the civil society organizations, in this case, the Central American Indigenous Council and other organizations such as Afro-descendants in Central America must be able to demand compliance with the Alliance for Sustainable Development in Central America. In fact, in the system of Central American integration, one of the fundamental axes is risk management and the environment, and then we will continue to participate in these spaces. And of course, we will continue working together with the indigenous peoples to advance much more in the respect for our Mother Earth in its recovery, but also in the recovery of the knowledge and ancestral practices of our indigenous peoples and their rights. Indigenous communities of Honduras, Costa Rica, Nicaragua, Guatemala, and El Salvador contributed to the construction of proposals that guarantee the continuity of human life in harmony with Mother Earth, all of them framed in 11 topics proposed by the GEAP. Eleven spokespersons presented to the Ambassador of the Activists of Peace the documents that bring together the proposals developed, and a framework agreement was signed between CICA and the GEAP to consolidate joint work agreements on the basis of the strengthening of the rights of indigenous peoples, the protection and restoration of Mother Earth. We are confident, as indigenous peoples of Central America, that this alliance that we are going to carry out now with the Global Embassy of Activists for Peace will strengthen all those processes that we have in the territories for the defense of the rights of the indigenous peoples and the defense of the natural resources and of our Mother Earth. This agreement becomes a commitment for Central America in favor of the recovery of ancestral and environmental knowledge.